Class 10, First Flight Poetry, Chapter 9, The Tale of Custard the Dragon by Ogden Nash. Belinda lived in a little white house with a little black kitten and a little grey mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really old, truly old little pet dragon. Now the name of the little black kitten was Ink and the little grey mouse, she called him Blink. And the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard. But the dragon was a coward and she called him Custard. Custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on top of him and scales underneath. Mouth like a fireplace, chimney for a nose. And really oh, truly oh, daggers on his toes. Belinda was as brave as a barrel full of bears and Ink and Blink chased lions down the stairs. Mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage but Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Belinda tickled him, she tickled him unmerciful. Ink, Blink and Mustard, they rudely call him Percival. They all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the really old, truly old, cowardly dragon. Belinda giggled till she shook the house and Blink said weak, which is giggling for a mouse. Ink and Mustard rudely asked his age when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Suddenly, suddenly they heard a nasty sound and Mustard growled and they all looked around. Meowch! cried Ink and Oo! cried Belinda. For there was a pirate climbing in the window. Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black, one leg was wood. It was clear that the pirate meant no good. Belinda paled and she cried, help, help. But Mustard fled with a terrified yelp. Ink trickled down to the bottom of the household and little mouse Blink strategically mousehold. But up jumped Custard snorting like an engine, clashed his tail like irons in a dungeon with a clatter and a clank and a jangling squirm. He went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. The pirate caped at Belinda's dragon and gulped some grog from his pocket flagon. He fired two bullets but they didn't hit and Custard gobbled him every bit. Belinda embraced him, Mustard licked him. No one mourned for his pirate victim. Ink and Blink in glee did gyrate around the dragon that ate the pirate. But presently up spoke little dog Mustard. I'd have been twice as brave if I hadn't been flustered. And up spoke Ink and up spoke Blink. We'd have been three times as brave we think. And Custard said, I quite agree that everybody is braver than me. Belinda still lives in her little white house with her little black kitten and her little grey mouse and her little yellow dog and her little red wagon and her really old, oh, truly old oh, little pet dragon. Belinda is as brave as a barrel full of bears and Ink and Blink chase lions down the stairs. Mustard is as brave as a tiger in a rage but Custard keeps crying for a nice safe cage. Thank you.